Let me tell you about recessions. A number of things can cause a recession, and none of them are good. Imagine a typical family, four people, a mother, a father, two kids, a dog. They have a small farm. They make money by planting crops. They use that money to buy shelter, food, clothes, a vacation, perhaps. In a perfect world, this would just keep ticking along like that, but of course, it's not a perfect world. One of the things that makes recessions unpredictable is that they can have several different causes. Sometimes they're caused by a bubble, which bursts. Sometimes they're induced by the Federal Reserve, the nation's central bank. In this country, we have over 100 million families. And so if one family has an economic problem, the economy doesn't even notice that. But if millions of families begin having economic problems, then the whole nation notices that very quickly. In a normal economy, our banks are willing to lend. And that allows people, they borrow the money so they can buy a new car or buy a house. Farmer can buy a tractor, for instance, and that means he can plant more fields because he has more power to do so. that makes recessions unpredictable is that they can have several different causes, like a severe weather event. Imagine our farm family. The area in which they live is devastated by a drought. Suddenly, their crops are worthless. Multiply this by millions, then you get a national recession. Suddenly, there enters something that we call the fear fairy. With this austerity budget and recession is coming back, and people are calling it a double dip. I think it's all we've now lost a total of 1.2 million jobs. In an economy, there are two emotions: fear and confidence. And when fear is in the saddle, well, then people are afraid of the future, and therefore they don't want to spend in the present. When the economy goes off the rails, bankers become fearful. They're afraid they won't get their money back and therefore they refuse to loan. The bank is going to show up and say, thank you very much, we're taking that tractor back. And therefore the farmer loses his ability to make as much money as he was making before. When consumers start to cut back on their spending, producers have to cut back on their production. They have to let workers go. Unemployment starts going up. That's a sign that the economy is really beginning to get into trouble. And so the recession spreads and spreads and spreads throughout the entire economy. And just like there's a fear fairy, there is also a confidence fairy. When that guy shows up into the economy, suddenly people get more optimistic about the future. They're less afraid that they won't have money to spend in the future. The confidence fairy works just the way the fear fairy did, except in reverse. It's whispering good news into the person's ear. The good thing about recessions is that they eventually come to an end. With good government activity, such as tax breaks, unemployment and construction projects, the Fed lowers interest rates, it can help revive a floundering economy. That puts more money into people's pockets, and so they spend it. So people say, hey, maybe the dawn is about to come. At the bottom of a recession, 
Both fear and confidence are, in effect, battling each other for control of the hearts and minds of men. wins, and eventually he will, because as we say, all recessions eventually come to an end. And that means that confidence has to have finally knocked out fear. Recessions are a profound effect of human nature. It is humans that cause recessions. And it is humans that end recessions as well. <laughs> 